Bam Bam Bam, this is Chris Mizo here, and I want to share some of my favorite customizations when it comes to IQ, especially when it comes to ARGBs for your Corsair IQ software. I had customized five different profiles that I want to share with you. That way you can customize your PC the exact way you want to. The very first thing you have to is enter IQ. Once you enter IQ, it should look something like this. It might take a little bit to load up. And if you have an ASUS motherboard, it should also show up as a plugin. Now with the X670E that I currently have, this plugin doesn't really work 100%. I messed around with it. It's still a work in progress from what I've been testing. Let's go back home here. And this is just the default profile, the most boring profile that IQ has and has that wonderful rainbow puke color that anybody loves. That's completely disgusting. But anyway, let's get to the point here. I want to get over to my profiles. I got five different profiles. Make sure you check down the, in the description down below for the timestamps for each one. And I'll try to go over it relatively quickly. So that way you can customize it the way you like. Now for Modern Warfare, it's really Modern Warfare 2. So let's go into Modern Warfare 2 and you can take a look and see how you like this profile. Now to enter this type of profile here, all you have to do is first in the motherboard, I have color shift set as color shift for the ARGB header. I have it alternating from this green color here and from this white color. Personally, I like 225, 225 and 225 for the white color and the speed is medium. Let's go to the next setup here. Not everybody's IQ is gonna be exactly the same, but if you, if you have something similar, like I have the H150i Elite LCD, this is what I have set up for this one. You might have a H150i that's not an LCD, which is fine. You're just gonna set it up to that profile. I have it in color wave. The quick lighting zones is all of them. Now you can customize it. You can put fan one, fan two, uh, yada, yada, but that's completely up to you. But I, for, for a quick sake, and just to show you a quick way of doing it, I just have it on all, and I have it set to the Modern Warfare 2 colors, which is the green and white color, similar to what you see on the cover or when you enter the game. So I have it as this green color here. If you want to copy the color code, make sure you pause the video to catch it. And the same with the white color that I used at 225 all around and I have it in slow speed with the direction going right for the ring itself I have it set as color wave and the quick lighting zone as all you can also customize each LED of your choosing if you want to and the same exact colors here by that at medium speed going to the right side for the actual LCD screen, I have the under screen setup and monitor. So I have the background as this wonderful green color to give it that Modern Warfare 2 look. I have it set the CPU package because that's what I prefer to see. You can set your temperatures depending on the type of CPU I have or you have. Currently I have a 7950X. That's why I have the temperature set the way I do. So you can have the white LED if you want to show in the background here with the green background, or you can do the opposite, which is the white background versus the green LED. That's completely up to you. If you have the H150i Elite CPU cooler, I have two RAM sticks here. I have it set as color wave. I have quick lighting zone as all of them. I've got alternating from the green and white color and the medium speed and going towards the right direction. Now you can change the direction. You can choose up, down, it's whatever. It's completely up to you. But if you like how I have it uh, set up, just copy it exactly the way I have. It sounds simple, like everything that I'm doing now, but you can see how much it brings out the RGBs on your PC and how much more feeling it gives, especially when you're gaming. For the Corsair IQ keyboard, I have it set as the visor setting 
make sure it's on the bottom. Otherwise, if you put the visor on top, the type lighting won't work. You have to make sure the type lighting is layered on top of the visor. So make sure it's right up here. I wanted to go over the visor one first, click visor. I have a quick lighting zone on all and I have it at medium speed. Start with profile, stop never, alternating the green and white colors. So as you're typing, you can see it gives that yellow and red look similar to when you're in game. Kind of give you the action combat feel when you're in game. So I have it set at type lighting and at quick lighting zone as all and it has the ripple effect. You can choose by key if that kind of annoys you the ripple effect, which is perfectly fine. Where you can just go ripple effect if you want the same exact way and at medium speed. Now for the lighting oak core, as you notice, I have six fans hooked up to it. Now, not all of these are QL fans. Some of these are ML fans. And I have it set to color shift. I have a quick lighting zone all and I have it as the slow side. As you see, it's on the turtle side and the green and white color. It gives it a really nice look, especially when you're gaming Modern Warfare 2, and it just makes it way more exciting. One of my personal favorites here is Cyberpunk 2077. We're going to start from the fan side since we're already open in this tab. Now you check out, I put it as pink. You go down here on this side here for lighting type, go down to pink, quick lighting zones all, and I have it set to the cyber pink, cyberpunk pink, and the cyberpunk aqua color here. And I have it set to the slow speed in the up direction. It kind of gives it that beautiful night city feel. Let's go to the keyboard here. I just have it as a simple color shift. As you type, it kind of gives that cyberpunk pink color so when you're typing it gives off this like almost like this cherry blossom look go down to color shift on again for this has to be on the second layer here because if you put color shift as the top it will not work properly the type lighting won't work properly instead you'll just see type lighting instead so go to color shift select color shift click quick lighting zone all make it this aqua color here with this really dark purplish color I have here and at medium speed for type lighting here go under type lighting and then go under Q W E R D F which are the main keys when you're gaming and when I have it set to just the ripple effect with the lavender and pink color at medium speed now with the RAM itself I have it set to rain they kind of give it that look it matches really well I feel I have it set the rain quick lighting zones all and I have the lavender and pink with a medium speed and the up direction for the h150 I have it set for the fans itself again these are ml fans here I have it set the also rain and lighting zones all with this very dark lavender and this very light blue color at medium speed for the ring itself I set it to the the light blue and the dark kind of like this violet color here at medium speed check out the color codes make sure you pause it if you need them for the actual screen setup as you can see i put a night city gif which i thought would be fitting especially for a cyberpunk 2077 theme go to screen setup here upload any cyberpunk theme that you would like make sure you go on the gif side and not the image side Otherwise, you won't see your image that you want. And finally, for the ASUS motherboard, I have it set to color shift and with this pink and light blue color at medium speed. Now, let's go next to Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a very unique theme, I feel. It gives it that nice fiery sky that it has off on the cover and in gameplay. For here, for the Seuss motherboard, I don't have anything for it currently, but you can add something to it. And for the uh, for H150i Elite LCD, for the eight LED series fans, I kind of set it to the fire look. So I put it on color shift, quick lighting zones all, 
where it has this goldish color with this very light orange color and I have it as at a fast speed so it kind of gives it that burning look as that represents the sky in the PC case and it looked very fitting as it matched the rest of the PC case the way it was and with the ring itself the same exact orange glow with color shift I have a very very dark darkish brownish orange color with this very light orange color at a fast speed again it represents kind of that burn and look with the Elden Ring character right here in the middle of it and that's easy to set up under screen setup if you have a h150i lcd display you can set it under image and select your image and set it into place for the ram itself i also have it set to like a fireish color to where it has the very darkish brownish orange with a very light orange and quick lighting so it's all speed at medium and at color shift with all lighting zones for the keyboard itself i kind of wanted to give it that sky color but as you're typing it gives all of that burning sky look so i have it at a slow speed for color pulse with alternating between the very that very teal colored sky with the very light teal color sky and at a very slow speed with all quick lighting zones at color pulse i have it set the type lighting i set the quick lighting zones to all and you would want this at a fast speed personally i think for this type of theme it looks better on a fast theme for the fans itself i have it set to the the color of the sky where it has that almost that lightish brownish orangish color and it has that teal color i have these specific colors if you want to copy those and these are all direct colors from the game itself i gotta share with you avatar this one's a really nice one i like kind of represents avatar jungle and the night scene and plus it has the tree of life that really nice color i haven't seen way of the water yet but this is probably a good simple a simplification of an avatar theme so for the motherboard itself you can set the colors if you want for the rgb header it doesn't always work great on my motherboard still a work in progress for the h150i elite lcd i have the fan set to this kind of dark lavender color and this pink color i have it at medium speed at all lighting zones at color shift for the ring itself i set color shift same exact colors that dark purple and that pink color and all lighting zones and for the screen setup i put the trio life wisp as the gif they kind of match the theme and for the ram itself i put color shift kind of that kind of like a tealish color almost like a teal green color with a, a greenish, almost like a forest green color at medium speed and quick lighting zones as all and at color shift. For the keyboard itself, I have the dark pink color, almost a violet color mixed with a almost a purplish blue with a medium speed facing the right direction at all lighting zones with color wave. I didn't put any type lighting or any type of audio sound to it. You could, and if you choose to, make sure you again layer it on the top of color wave and not under color wave, otherwise it will not respond. For the actual RGB hub where I have six of these fans hooked up, I put the color shift one on fans one, two, and three. And for color shift, two i put four five and six i have the teal color and the and a very darkish teal color at medium speed and it's still color shift at medium speed but with a very dark violet color with pink with four five and six Now we're at the GeForce powered setup RGB lighting. This one's a really nice one I like. Since we're already here, we're gonna start with the lighting node core as the infinity type of look where 
one four and five with alternating light green and dark green colors at medium speed facing the up and down direction and the heartbeat which is the second layer which is two three and six personally for my pc or the way my pc set up and i set it the heartbeat at a very slow speed with the same exact green colors but in the right direction and for the keyboard itself i put visor and i put the darkest green and the green color all keys and at medium speed and it starts with profile and stops never now for the rgb ddr5 i put sequential speed quick lighting zone is all one color the lighter green color at slow speed going at a down motion now you can create another profile and make the other one go up if you want to make it go down and up but personally i feel like it's much better at sync when they're both going in the down direction and the h150i elite lcd i have it set to visor to match the keyboard and the quick lighting zones that's all with a light green and dark green at medium speed for the ring itself i put rotary stack which is a really nice design or pattern that i like especially when it's support a geforce power pc the quick lighting zone is all and it's a green and dark color with medium speed counter this is going clockwise for the screen setup here i set up as fade fill with the green and very light green color and the label color as white cpu and i set it as cpu package but if you really want to give it that nvidia theme you can go and put it under gpu temperature and under gpu temperature you can measure it through that and you can actually change the name right here if you want to and put rtx 4090 the motherboard itself I, you can put color shift i have a dark green and a lighter colored at medium speed for the asus motherboard fam and guys i hope you found this very useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want any more guides make sure you let me know in the comments down below and if you know anyone else who has iq make sure you share this video with them and also if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates make sure you follow my twitter handle right here as it is the same as my ig is tiktok as well fam fam guys let me know how you set up your iq i know everybody iq is going to be set up differently but let me know if how you set up yours and how you like it overall thanks so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out